Is this what you were doing reps for? So you could slink from an argument about the importance of cultivating the body? Your throat can produce little more than a dry croak. Awkward, since you already had a drink. Oh God, wrong move. Your fist is in his hand again, like a pair of forceps crushing you. He has a monstrous recovery rate. A minute or so of mauling away at the lock has led to no success. The Gewalsund in your hand has given you zero mechanical advantage. Even dancing to this beat before, you knew it in your lungs where the pressure wasn't bursting, and in your heart that was alone, and in your solar plexus where the hits should have landed. So does every chordate animal. The metal doors are heavy, and the flaking rust hurts your palms. But, together with the lieutenant, you manage to slide them open just enough to squeeze in. This time, something cracks inside. You give it another, more ferocious kick. The door still does not move. This time, something cracks inside. It is an unbelievably satisfying sound. This time, something cracks inside. It is an unbelievably satisfying sound. This time, something cracks inside. You give it another, more ferocious kick. The door still does not move. Later then, entering this door seems a physical challenge. He's taken your measure, like an ideological boxer stepping into the ring. As with all applications of violence, the key is the appropriate amount of force exercised with absolute control on the part of the wielder. If you were trying this against an actual opponent, it would be a meager, embarrassing effort. A little ice on it will keep the swelling down. He'll be fine in a day or two. Too strong, killer. Oh yeah, we're gonna spin this kid like a top. You're both lucky you didn't shatter his cheekbone. He may want to count his teeth before he goes to bed tonight. These are her last reserves of strength. Her muscles will give in soon. Already, she starts to shake. These are her last reserves of strength. Her muscles will give in soon. Already, she starts to shake. Force yourself. Slap yourself. These are her last reserves of strength. Her muscles will give in soon to a scream. By God, this young man has the body of a decathlete. His lithe form was practically made for vaulting over the high bar. There has to be a way to use brute force. Climbing sounds unsafe. Brute force is safe. Look around and find something to break if the ladder fails. Hear that? You're old. That's why you can't do it. Old and feeble. A letdown. A failure. You hear a faint thuck. You could swear you're hearing furniture falling over. And fight. Push the headset in the cradle with all the strength you have. Yeah, with shit eyes it must be. Be no clod. Host almighty. Don't count on that. You saw the Bino Cloud can't shoot for shit. It's all Nancy's up there in traffic. I count zero balls. Fingers locked behind her head. Knee to the face. Knee to the face. Crush the ribcage. Sidestep and drop her with a hammer kick. Pipes can be broken. With force. Not that he would have to worry about being robbed. He looks surprisingly buff. Does he work out? This is all ninzy pinzy garbage for sissy people. Half of his body has slipped between the cracked boardwalk, starting with the right leg. The fall has left him broken, contorted like a sad puppet. What if you just break it down? Walk it off, son. Stop wriggling like a maggot. It's nothing to worry about. That's right. Take in your surroundings. You need to have a solid ground and a proper posture if you want to succeed. Steady breathing. Solid core. You've got this. With one shoulder forward, you're ready to smash into the door like a battering ram. 
The room is dimly lit and littered with old barbershop rubbish, but the path to the door is clear. It's made of a solid block of wood, but it has stood there for ages. The hinges are old and coated with a carmine layer of rust. It should be doable. Nonsense for anemic beano-clods. This is entirely, completely, you. You have found the right books. She's into your masculine posturing. Your lean, uh, husky and chubby brawn is pure animal magnetism. Son, you got destroyed there. What an idiot you are. Such wraiths may prove a formidable enemy. Suit up, you tree-hugging pansy. At first, the destructive urge felt exhilarating, as if it added something to your persona. But the feeling swiftly receded, leaving you with a sad emptiness. His posture is relaxed. Despite his powerful build and a knife in his hand, this man resorts to physical intimidation only infrequently, if at all. It's out there now, in the world. Made manifest. Some tiny hard thing lets go in your stomach. You're still alive. This glorious multi-tool makes a regular pry bar completely obsolete. A body is only crude so long as it's unformed, son. That's where your training comes in. What's next? A raw food diet? You're a disappointment. What is this? Is this what you've been training for? So you could wuss out when push comes to shove? Tell him, son. Show him you're not going to be bent out of shape by his philosophies. Some people will find that attitude admirable. But it's not going to help you scale these beams. Seriously, what were you even thinking? You haven't been putting the work in to pull off a stunt like climbing to great heights like a cat. Yeah, you were getting a tad too ambitious there. There still may be time to recuperate. Just grit your teeth. That's just whiny bullshit. Get it together. You're not doing that bad, but... Yeah, there's some distance to go. Time to run back, or maybe walk. This is a sacred place, after all. It's climbing. Climbing down, holding on the beams. There's no way the perp is in here, officer. Look how scarred the boards are. All attempts to pry them off have failed. Not this time. The opposition is insurmountable. But I like the spirit. Have some points. It's lonely and cold without points. Filth. This needs environmental action now. That's precisely what he is. Everard's dragon. That's not how you pattern someone. The technique is way off. You strike with your whole body, not just the baton. Roller skating. Not drugs, Harry. You like this. Does this jiggling ooze think he's going to use you? He's got another thing coming. Play his game, son, with your eyes peeled. He's going to slip up, and when he does, you're going to come out on top. Finally, answers. Ask away, son. In there, under pillows of winter fat, his stress-ridden heart still beats furiously. A place to train, buff kids. The feeling causes all the hairs on your body to stand at attention, like soldiers preparing for review. Complete nonsense, both carpery and what you just said. Can't bathe in thoughts. Now is the time to champion the power of the sinuses. This transaction has changed the physical relationship between you. You are now more alike somehow. How'd he get in front? Little slime ball, have I been summoned? A warm wave of accomplishment washes over your head as you drop the barbell to the floor. For a moment, it feels like you're strong enough to succeed at anything you ever set your mind to. Conjuring up an inhuman amount of strength, you raise the barbell up in the air. Your biceps tremble, but you're a savage. 
This is a children's game. It's 60 kilograms. Your triceps hum at the sight of these weights. Show the world what kind of beast it's dealing with. Lift them. You manage to hoist it off the ground, but the barbell feels wobbly and dangerous. Your hands slick with sweat. Turns out you're no beast, just an old man with bad form. A warm wave of accomplishment washes over your head as you drop the barbell to the floor. For a moment, it feels like you're strong enough to succeed at anything you ever set your mind to. Still, it's good to have this dirt on you. Real men wear coal for makeup. Another pathetic yelp sounds off into the vast darkness of the chimney. You're a little embarrassed you produced it. Your dehydrated, hungover throat can produce little more than a dry croak. You muster all your strength and yell. Something breaks loose in you. A mighty bellow echoes throughout the chimney's depths. The chatter of tiny voices above suddenly cease. Then... There must be another way to wake up whoever is in there. Maybe you should try yelling into the furnace downstairs. Perhaps it's not such a bad idea. Try it again, son. You took your shot and still missed. Well, you did your best, champ. Shame it wasn't good enough. You wouldn't like it either. The others would laugh at you. As she speaks, her bone-like fingers fiddle with a ring. Her bones light but her hands strong. A strange metallic taste fills your mouth as you stare at the intercom. Your hands are getting cold and your breathing becomes visible, forming small silvery puffs in the air. The two of you, easily. You've definitely earned a drink after this, perhaps even some pagan rites. Ice squeaks beneath your Kvalzun multi-tool. But your fingers slip away from the tool. The lid shut as tightly as before. Ice groans and howls under the strain of your giant Kvalzund multi-tool. Until the lid cracks open, blue electric lights come to life. Ice groans and howls under the strain of your giant Kvalzund multi-tool. Until the lid cracks open, the ice squeaks beneath the pry bar. You think you've got the bar jammed in there pretty well, but the lid simply won't budge. The ice squeaks beneath the pry bar. You could swear you succeeded, but the lid simply won't budge. Looks like gibberish. Better get running again. It's not. It's just not possible. It's like eating rocks. You just can't do it. As you talk, it feels like chewing on gravel, granite, steel bars. Good job. Let's go now. I'm sure there's nothing interesting in there. What's the matter with this wimp? Is he obstructing justice? Nothing a couple of solid hooks from Dexter and Sinister won't fix. Ask him about the Hardy Boys. Your hand twists in his grip and the pain blinds you. Still you press the words out of your swollen mouth. Oh God, wrong move. Your head is in his hands like a pair of forceps crushing you and you can feel every jewel. The compression is unbearable. This is causing some serious damage to whatever precious, gelatinous thing is inside there. Your sight turns red. It has happened again. The Titan has your fist locked in his hand and he's twisting it. Your body does not betray your degeneracy. That's a lie. You're in great shape. You were. But then you made a wrong move, and now your skull feels like it's about to crack. Just like that, instinct took over. A solid strike straight into his throat, into the cartilage. You could swear you felt the soft palate break. How did this happen? Your little fist is in his giant hand, and he's squeezing it. It hurts. Does he strike you as the kind of man who puts mugs into trash? True, that is a noble cranium, but you got a hard noggin yourself. Your fist cracks in his hand like a ripe apple. Pain shoots up into your brain as he's twisting it more and more. Prissy milk sop, get back to me when you've grown a backbone. When the man moves around, 
you perceive some serious abs underneath his tight-fitting shirt. This man is in shape. Yes, of course. It's hard to do that when you want to beat a man into a pulp instead. He's clenching his teeth. There is silent pressure behind them. Something stirs in your stomach. Not bad advice, actually. This might do the trick. He might have some advice, but you've got to at least try to fight Mejahed first. Return if you fail. Wrong. You did the right thing with Mejahed. The ballerina antics won you the fight. Imagine what you could do with boots like this. Not be a little fucking weakling baby, for starters. There are boots for muling, and there are boots for smashing shit. Get your daily infusion of vitamin PB for police brutality. Makes you feel like a boss. The man in charge. Never thought you so spineless. Where's your wrecking ball spirit, your brutal mojo? Who cares? It's a tarred suit either way. Putting on the garment feels like stepping into a warm summer lake. The silky warmth engulfs you. You'll be looking like a pansy without the chops. A fucking pansy. You don't have a face anymore. It's all baby ass now. Yeah, purified yourself right back to infancy. You look like a baby. That's not fair. And an understatement. If they try something, just knock their teeth out. As if you've done it before, your broken hip reminds itself again with a dull, but persistent ache. It's not merely the dehydration, it's your broken leg, reminding itself again with a dull but persistent ache. It's not merely the dehydration, it's your broken leg, reminding itself again with a dull but persistent ache. Audio waves thump against your ribcage. The speaker setup makes everything sound much better. But there's a noticeable lack of something. Audio waves thump against your ribcage. The speaker setup makes everything sound much better. But the beat is still so weak. Feels good. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the bass. As if testing the waters. The pathetic old wood, rusty screws and one nail stand no chance against the forces of leverage. From deep within, a bellow rips. A minute or so of mauling away at the lock has led to no success. The pry bar in your hand has given you zero mechanical advantage. You jam the pry bar between the lock and the staple and apply force. Your biceps bulge from the strain. The metal creaks and squeals. Suddenly, the pry bar snaps. Metal shavings fly everywhere. The upper half, between the lock and the staple, falls to the ground with a thunk. The broken edge of the snapped pry bar is smooth. Took the tip right off. Nice try, son. But this is not something you should be attempting to do with your bare hands. Your muscles do not know. This shouldn't happen. You're sure the wood looked weak? No, that would be silly. Your body isn't for thinking. It's for robust, wholesome things. Things like discus, javelin, and 400-meter hurdles. Hmm, discus. You know it in your lungs where the pressure should vibrate, in your heart that's alone, and in your solar plexus where the hits should land. So does every chordate animal. Vibrations thump through your blue soul. The music sounds much better in the church. Inside your chest, the heart beats still with the after effects of the sound. Imagine if you could harness that power, making it pulse. I think you might know the answer. You can't just leave it without a bass track. Hey, nothing wrong with muscle and bone. Son, it's only an obsession if it's unhealthy, and there's nothing healthier than maintaining a sound body. Also, you're forgetting about the moustache. Don't forget 
the moustache. Good thing you're a goddamn ox, son. An ox that fights bears. The wasteland of reality is an unforgiving place. But if you ever encounter a bear wandering its roads, you're pretty sure you could take it. Color of the irises, predation marks, condition of sexual organs. From nowhere, you hear the screech of sneakers on a waxed floor, and you feel the burn of rope against your hands. Are these figments of some other life? What about your junk? Her form is terrible. She needs to straighten her back and increase the downward pressure on that machine. Has no one taught her about ergonomics? That performance was frankly an embarrassment. Don't forget the lats, champ. You've got this. Come on, son. This isn't anything but a common high bar. Just get a solid overhand grip and hoist yourself up. Something about this setup seems dimly familiar. But you'll be damned if you know what you're supposed to do about it. Keep it together, champ. You've got this. Don't forget the lats, champ. You've got this. Keep it together, champ. You've got this. That performance was frankly an embarrassment. Something about this setup seems dimly familiar. But you'll be damned if you know what you're supposed to do about it. Come on, son. This isn't anything but a common high bar. Just get a solid overhand grip and hoist yourself up. Goddamn maggot. Drag your ass to the gym and do some reps right now. With a firm grip, you raise the pry bar. A glint of light catching on the tip. Call down the hammer of truth and justice. Release your secrets, lorry cabin. Pry bar in hand. You take a hard swing at the window. A loud thunk rings out and the pry bar bounces back, leaving a tiny spider web on the glass. Good thing you have one. But you don't have a pry bar. The lieutenant would, but he drove away with it in his toolbox. Another futile thunk sounds in the brisk coastal air. Call down the hammer of truth and justice. With a firm punch that could shatter bone, you smash through the window. Why you didn't equip and use the pry bar, who knows? But now, release your secrets, lorry cabin. Why dwell on dead tissue? Your body survived the battle. Your muscles proved the mightier. Celebrate the living instead. Time to turn up the volume. If this guy's all the Occidentals have, well, let's just say he's not exactly ripped. It's calling you out onto the field. This man, he's on your team. Now is not the time to focus on feelings. You need that info, son. Never. They would never illegalize sport. Sport is the most wholesome thing known to man. Working on these rhymes clearly leads to muscular atrophy. Make sure you don't get hooked on poetry. There's no denying it. Your body needs to feel the touch of some good performance wear. Bulky frame. Heavy. Hardy. Looks like a tractor. The rulers of Revachol. And also, the world. These guys are strong. That's a negative, Lieutenant. The fuck do you need a gun for? Look at the pythons on your arms. You are a gun. The biggest one in the world. Son, here is where we score your life performance. You better hope it's good. What a beano clad. You can't seem to pry the doors apart for long enough to slip through. A second pair of hands would be really useful here. You and the lieutenant lean all your weight into pushing the doors apart, but you're not quite synchronizing your efforts. They slam shut again before you can enter. The metal doors are heavy and very awkward to open on your own, but you just manage to slide them open wide enough for you to slide yourself between them. It looks too exhausting to even try. You'd only bloody your fingers on the rust. Her grip on the gun is tight, her arms toned, her posture solid. Martinez lost a valuable defender. Get it together, boy. You've got to hold on, no matter how bad. He's flexing as he says these last words. It seems to be involuntary. 
Just remember, minimum effort. Let things get too brainy, and bang, you're a beaner clod. No one wants that. Spirit is housed in flesh. No one cares about your fancy ideas if you're getting beaten up behind a bar. Roll or twitch? That guy must be juicing. No way he's natural. Big time. TRT. Growth hormones. Guardian power injections. He's on all of them. There's something else you need to clear up with him, man to man. Why, you knocked him out. No, not a pussy. This is not physiologically accurate. Nothing tricky about that. You just do, fail, repeat, until it works. All it takes is motivation and practice. Stop talking about this nerd stuff. It will make you weedy. Buy the damn shirt already. It's powerful. Stop talking about this nerd stuff. It will make you weedy. Imagine swinging it at a ball. The distance you'd get. That's the kind of feat that nets sportsmen a corporate sponsorship. I don't condone the idea of using physical force on her. She's a girl. It looks like a pallet. Nothing more than a board for mixing paint. As said before, it's a pallet. Nothing to see here. It looks like a pallet. Nothing more than a board for mixing paint. Tool? Maybe she's onto something after all. Athletes are simultaneously tools and artists. Bodies chiseled to a singular purpose. What is this? An athletic challenge? Scream it from the top of your lungs immediately. Show that asshole. Really put your back into it. Yell it from the top of your lungs. Challenge accepted. I say we do it. Finally, time to choose sides. Cold and heavy, like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once more. Gymnasium. I love that word. Doesn't matter. Integrity in sports doesn't matter. Hold me back, Sonny Jim. God damn it. It's all that matters. Of course he didn't. Flowers are for pansies. Stop wasting time with them. Wow, you threw it far. Great throw. Too bad the goal was to throw it a very short distance, and now everyone will die. Don't thank me. You did this. If you waste time, people will die. If you waste time, people will die. If you waste time, people will die. And they will still attack you later. There are no two more harmful words an athlete can hear than good job. And this was downright embarrassing. Yeah, gaps you try to fill with thinking. We don't think in sports. We do. Behold the fear and confusion reflecting in the eyes of the two feeble geezers. They are in awe of your superiority. You are a god to them. Unless you want to tell him how you took Kuno down, the decisiveness you exhibited in that situation would surely impress a man fond of order and discipline. Does it matter what team? Pick a team, any team, the blue team. You're letting them down. Get in the game and throw the goddamn ball. Eyes on the ball, Dinky Winky. Shush, ignore them. They don't know what they're doing. They're old. You are letting down yourself and the team. Get in the damn game already. You're such a wuss. That's the spirit. Don't even waste your breath asking about the game. They wouldn't know anyway. They're way past their prime. No, you got this. There's the ball. You're the game. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions never. Heavy artillery fire, you say. That's the best kind of artillery fire. Very interesting. Wait, 
Did she just imply that you're fat? You're not fat. The body type she's referring to is called a Franco-Nigerian hard body. Help her by carrying things? Hmm. Maybe she needs a weightlifter. Maybe she needs you to fight her husband. No, that's not it. Kids are always going missing. Weak, pathetic kids. Always getting themselves killed. What are you doing? You're a police officer, not a pansy ornithologist. The only birds you should be looking for are healthy women of childbearing age. Enough with the goddamn flowers already. Are you a cop or a florist? Water streams down your pry bar. Or crowbar. Or pry bar. Call it what you will. It doesn't stand a chance against military-grade weaponry. Snowflakes stick to your pry bar. Or crowbar. Or pry bar. Call it what you will. It doesn't stand a chance against military-grade weaponry. You try to take comfort in the weight of your pry bar. Or crowbar. Or pry bar. Call it what you will. It doesn't stand a chance against military-grade weaponry. Get your head back in the game. Everyone else is gone. It has to be you. Finish the damn interrogation. Forget this. What was that about steroids? It piqued your interest. You're a bad detective. Lazy and bad. As you should be, son. This is pitiful. Make up for it now. Of course it's not okay. Make up for it now. Maximum performance. Enough. Take him in. Bend his arms behind his back and end this. This would explain its antenna being smaller. No. It's what the three meters tall stick insect came up with. Officially, it was the three meters tall stick insect who solved it. Looks like someone's got hurt in a fight. This antennae is much smaller than the other one. Yell at him now. Loud. It would have looked very impressive. Still, you found it all. Now your mortal coil is completely protected. Few cops are this futuristic. Indeed, you found it all. Now your mortal coil is completely protected. Few cops are this futuristic. Future use for a future armor. Agreed. Gear up, heavy porcelain man. It's a violent world. Yeah, sure. But you would have become nearly invincible. I'm liking the positive attitude. Keep it up, champ. But it would have looked really impressive. That's a good attitude to take. I like it. Keep it up and keep the helmet handy. Exactly. But no use crying over spilt milk. Keep up the pace. Only forward. Son, you found another piece of the armor puzzle. Too bad it's too late for the big showdown. And also too late to collect all of them and have a full set. Attention, attention. An old has-been given up. Come see the has-been quitting again, everyone. Behold, world. Here walks a sportsman. Hands choked and hair kept back with a bandana. The homo athleticus. It's going to take blood, sweat, piss and tears. But when I'm done with you, boy, you will be a master athlete. Son, you've really let yourself go. It's a disgrace. But coach physical instrument is going to get you back in prime condition. Even if it takes a million push-ups. Does a master swordsman insult his own blade? No. I'm going to turn you into an athletic benchmark, you big pussy. When a man sets his mind and body on something and gives his 110%, he is sometimes going to piss himself. It just happens. No shame in that. Now fire. Fuck them up. Do it. The muscles on your back tense up. What topic? Shots have been fired. Act before it's too late. This was a close call. Your hands cramp on the steering levers. Even decapitation couldn't stop his commitment to the sport. 
Are you that committed? That's right. Getting a good run-in is important to maintaining your physical and mental health. Speaking of, when's the last time you did your laps, pork chop? The stone kicking isn't even of very high caliber. Anyone can do that. That does not go for real men. It does not go for you. Show her. Show her the wonder. Minds, minds, you need minds. That's cool. You boast in your bacterial infection like that. This left a mark. They can't deny it, son. You got the bastard. Also, this guy. Just everything about this guy. The fact that you don't even know what homosexuality is. How you're able to perform a 360 degree spin kick despite your less than stellar workout routine. They can keep that pension. You're rock solid. You can put your clothes on hard. Son, you will not kill yourself with this. Not today. So we're going to store this as a sellable item. Go sell it at the pawn shop for a profit. No, we must run around ceaselessly. It would be torture to stay put. Not a quitter. Like you sometimes get, son. It's too much. You can feel your vertebrae starting to crack, your muscles groaning. Get out of here, dreamer. Don't you think we'd know about it? He's the kind of robust man who feels most at home outdoors, doing strenuous work in places where most people wouldn't venture. Seems puny, to be honest. That's one way of saying that the nerve damage is quite severe. The only way you'll be able to change your face now is with your fingers. What are you doing? You're not some fat fish in a fucking aquarium. Time to get moving. What a shame. Get to it now. Rip that body down from the tree. Are you sure you would have the strength to take down a hardened mercenary? You're not in the best shape. See? You're clearly not a man in your prime anymore. That makes him a beano clad Completely uncop material, if you say so yourself. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this. But you can't quite muster enough testosterone. You may not remember taking any little tests, but you're strong as a goddamn ox. Anyone can see that. Put your neck into it. That's where the power comes from. You have no clue because you're not a dweeb. You've got guns of steel and a chiseled jaw somewhere under the bloated alcohol layer. Maybe she'd like to sponsor you. Of course, you've arrived at a weak world where no one appreciates animal husbandry. Oh no, we've arrived at some sort of weak world where everyone's a nancy pansy. You gently shake his shoulder, but nothing happens. This man could probably sleep soundly in a ship's engine room. There is only one way to awake this bone idol from his slumber. Roar like a hurricane. Rip the buildings from the earth. The way he says measurehead implies ultimate trust in this head reckoner's physical prowess. The way he says measurehead implies ultimate trust in this head reckoner's physical prowess. He seems like a worthy rival. You should slay him. The worker continues to nap, undisturbed despite you shaking him. This guy is a real juggernaut of sleep. He looks one with the table. It would take quite some effort to wake him up. You have a pretty solid feeling that the man's not just mouthing off. He's strong, but even he has reasons to be cautious here. The mood is on the rise. They're feeling confident ready to punch out the whole Merc platoon. While still alive, he has abandoned his own body to decomposition. Just two badass men nodding, stoically. Here we go. Bump it hard. What is wrong with you? You would have made friends for life. 
These guys will never forgive you now. Not bad. Women are crazy. Irrational. That's what you're thinking, right? Also, your fists are itching for a bump. Certainly enough to not put up with this back sass. Deliver a knockdown observation. This guy's tough. Get the eye twitch going. You need to look scary. Questions? To hell with that. Get right up in the big dick's face. Physical confrontation. You failed here. A weakness is a weakness, not a strength. Time to speak now. With words. With begrudging respect, he leans back. The room around you is silent. Time to speak now. With words. The moment ends. With begrudging respect, the man leans back. Time to say something. His hands become fists. God damn, no one tells you to put your fists down. His hands become fists. Titus's posture is more relaxed than when you first met him. He is relieved that this classier business is finally over. Get further in there. Escalate. Five machine pylon. She's a woman. That's how women speak to men. With respect. You're sweating. Get a move on, asshole. Stop standing with your dick in your hand. No, you don't. You look like a young god. You know what? It must be because he's buff. He looks like he works out, like he's got the devil on his back. Yes, this man is definitely one of the homos. I've seen them homos with my own eyes. A challenge? Okay. It was a challenge. And you failed. What now, loser? A left jab right on the looker. His hand is covered in bruises and half plastered. Still, this hulking lump of man is glad to be alive. Titus's hand is covered in bruises and half plastered. Still, this hulking lump of man is glad to be alive. He thinks you should sit back down. Back straight now. You're not sitting anywhere. Not to mention, great exercise even if you could don't let him talk you down son pow pow that was impressive something cracks inside you kick it gung-ho style entering the premises style but the door fails to respect the force all you hear is the bar rattling inside laughing at you the door is oblivious to your distress something cracks inside it is an unbelievably satisfying sound. Something cracks inside. It is an unbelievably satisfying sound. It is an unbelievably satisfying sound. It is an unbelievably satisfying sound. Something cracks inside. You kick it, gung-ho style. Entering the premises, style. But the door fails to respect the force. All you hear is the bar rattling inside laughing at you. Wait, wait. Everyone, just wait. What is this? Derail this whole thing immediately and investigate. Well, I'll be damned. That's one more thing we know about the world. Let the miss speak. She's tall and thin and tired. A twig trying so hard not to break. You have it in you to be a champion. Keep your head in the game now. She has the training for it. You've known it since she first greeted you here on this roof. She has the training for it. Two, maybe three years of self-defense. Her body is hard and lean underneath that jumpsuit. No need to dilly-dally. She's tough. You'll sound like a namby-pamby. Good on you, boy. She can take it. It's about dedication, son. That, and you're probably a gym teacher. Only a former gym teacher can think these thoughts and drink so much. Doesn't matter. The flow of events is already passing you by. The woman said something. Now the man's saying something. Keep your head in the game, son. Doesn't matter. The flow of events is passing you by. The woman said something. Now the man's saying something. Keep your head in the game, son. Then toned 
Over several years of self-defense training, you can sense it in the sharp pointing of her elbows. Who? Me? There is no challenge without competition. There must be an opponent. The adversary one. There is no challenge without competition. There must be an opponent. Why are you sitting around on your fat ass? Do some push-ups for God's sake. Idiot, you bungled it up. Oh, come on. He's just pretending that he doesn't care because he's too small for the armor. End of conversation. Very strong. You should be this stoic. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Sounds like art. The kid may have something there. He's already come up with an interrogation technique too. Coach Physical Instrument endorses these pants. They are tartan ready. That's all there is to it then. Don't be a pansy. Just jump. They're mistaken. The jump was executed to perfection. Looks like we're looking at a close quarters fight in some rundown drug den. Bongs falling. Hookers screaming. You should use the environment against him. You didn't shut him down. Your fat fist didn't meet its target. Instead, it pulled you down with it. Thump. The blow connects surprisingly well, leaving your knuckles tingling. Goddamn right he's not a gardener. He's an athlete. Every rock connects, making the battered corpse look just a little bit worse for wear. Don't let him ask twice. Dig in, son. As it ought to. This is where its grip on the curdled meat is gentlest. Pulling up. He's really doing it. The dead man's teeth cut into his gloved hands. What was that about no chlorine around the neck? You'd be chlorine for your life. The spine is bent more than the lieutenant compensated for. This buster's actual height is about 1.85. And no, you could not take him straight on. After some deliberation, you sink the cutters into the knot tying the belt together. You squeeze the rubber handles together, sweat forming on your brow. You jam the cutters right under the knot. That seems like a smart idea. Yeah, somewhere there. Already, they're buried deep in the man's flesh. Then you rotate them to get a better hold. Then, yes, that's much better form than you had. You're going to need to summon all your strength for this undertaking. Damn, you're out of shape. In your defense, the corpse was quite slippery. All the muscles in your body harden. Time to enter him. You've seen the drawings. You've studied them. Just pull his rotten head off. The meat's cooked anyway. Give the boot another yank and it's done. What is happening to you? Are you going to cry now, son? To the gates. Let's fight, I say. Take his gun and show him how to use it. He means force. It'll work. Suddenly your biceps coil up. Your elbow is sharp and cocked for a punch. The pry bar in your hand is itching for some action. Your fist clenches suddenly. There's no question. There's only cutting. How hard can it be? Oh my god. That was so many types of wrong. Who taught Four Eyes to shoot? Whip up a grueling training regiment for him right now. Beat the man into him. Go, go, go. You hear that, Sally? They're laughing at you. Are you going to let it stand? Are you, Sally? Or are you going to cry like a beast? Like a beast? Do it. Force time isn't happening. You've jammed the pry bar under the lid, but it just isn't bending. You stick the pry bar into the fissure beneath the lid and push down. It doesn't take much force. With a satisfying crack, the metal gives way. You can open the lid now. Did someone say, pry bar? Pry bar crowbar, leverage displacement tool of the gods. Your hands have held its painted flaked metal 100,000 times.
Pry bar, pry bar. Your palms yearn its cold touch to grasp it once more as you've done so many times. Forget about it like you forgot about your life? No, you cannot forget your own body and your body cannot forget. Really? Your muscles are down with either one. Ask the manager. Bullshit. Go straight for the pry bar and pry this baby wide open. Still, not force time. You're just not getting there. The pry bar is primed, but you lack the ability. No matter how strong you think you are, this is really not something you should be attempting to do with your bare hands. You force open the sealed metal lid with your goddamn bare hands. It is open now. It could not resist your superhuman strength.